in vetting. An approved book is only listed in the orange book after KICD verifies that all the necessary corrections have been made. Mary Mwoki, KTN News. Now, former sports cabinet secretary Hassan Revio and athletics legend Kipchoge Keino are expected to appear in an anti-corruption court today and be charged in connection with corruption-related offences over the 2016 Rio Olympic Games. Now, the duo spent the better part of Thursday at the Directorate of Criminal Investigations being grilled over multi-million scandal. And as Francis Ontuma reports, police could turn Kipchoge into a state witness. Captured by stranded Kenyan athletes participating in the Rio 2016 Olympics was among the first pieces of evidence paraded publicly to show all was not well for Kenya. This and other pieces of evidence jolted investigators into action that now implicates top sports officials including the former cabinet secretary Hassan Wario, currently serving as Kenya's envoy in Austria. <laughs> The court on Monday ordered that Wario and three others, including athletics legend Kipchoge Keino, to report at the DCI offices then honor court summons. And this was the day Wario jetted from Vienna, Austria, while Kipchoge came all the way from Mexico. Also arrested were former Director of Administration Haron Komen and former Finance Officer Patrick Kimadi. Police say they were accompanied by lawyer Cecil Miller as they were being processed for prosecution. Reports show that Kipchoge may be turned into state witness. I personally feel that the National Olympic Committee did their best. And I would like to ask those who have said they have this problem, that problem should be, they should charge him according to what they have in their own hand. On Monday, Kenya's ambassador to Russia, who is the former sports principal secretary, Richard Titus Ekai, together with ex knock officials Stephen Kiptanui Arab Soy and Francis Kanyeli, were charged over the Rio scandal and denied the charges before Chief Magistrate Douglas Ogoti. <laughs> Francis Ontomwa, KTN News, Nairobi. <laughs> All right, so right now I'd like us to head uh, to the Milimani Law Court that houses the Anti-Corruption Court. And uh, Timothy Uchini is on this tour for us. Good morning, uh, Timothy, and thank you so much for joining us here on KT News Centre. Can you bring us up to date with what's happening along the corridors of justice when it comes to this 2016 Rio Olympics scandal? Well, good morning, Brenda. And right now uh, the former Cabinet Secretary for Sports, uh, Hassan Wario, has presented himself before the anti-corruption magistrate court uh, in a case that will be, of course, heard by Chief Magistrate Douglas Ogoti, who did uh, call upon them, first of all, to appear before the DCI by Thursday 6 a.m. to answer to the charges leveled against uh, him, as well as six others, in total six counts of, uh, six counts of rather mis-, mis um, misuse of office and four counts of, uh, of failure to comply with the laws governing the management of public funds. So Hassan Wadi is before uh, the Chief Magistrate Court this morning to answer to that. He did yesterday appear before the Director of Criminal Investigations Office, George Kinoti, where he, alongside athlet, uh, athletic uh, giant and former icon uh, Kipchoge Keino, were grilled for over six hours, and Brenda, as you have mentioned, it now appears that Kipchoge Keino may now be a state witness uh, if uh, the proceedings yesterday at the DCI are anything to go by. But, of course, Hassan Wari is expected to take a plea, possibly, this morning as to whether he is guilty or not guilty of uh, those charges leveled against him. In total, they are accused of embezzling 55 million Kenya shillings out of the 544 million that had been set aside for the 2016 Rio Olympic Games, which took place at the capital city in Brazil. Now, Hassan Wario has uh, expressly been mentioned through the affidavit of the prosecution side that he uh, willfully did approve the travel for, among others, six persons who are not supposed to be traveling for that particular function. Uh, he's also been accused of uh, facilitating the, the issuance of allowances to six persons, including two individuals who are believed to have pocketed 1.5 million shillings, uh, two other individuals also accused of 
uh, pocketing about 918,000 shillings. Uh, there's a lady accused of uh, pocketing 498,000 as well as one individual accused of pocketing as well 498,000. And this, according to the prosecution, happened with the knowledge of the then Cabinet Secretary of Sports. Aside from that, uh, the uh, Kipchoge Keino himself was accused of facilitating the travel of his son, Ian Kipchoge, uh, amounting to about 2.5 million shillings worth of allowances and air travel. Uh, the CS himself, as well as officials from his ministry, including the director of administration, uh, Harun Komen, set to appear this morning, as well as the then principal secretary of sports, Mr. Richard Ekai, who did appear before the court earlier this week and was released on a one million shilling bond, all jointly accused of uh, crimes, these economic crimes that are set to appear before the court this morning. So uh, the case was expected to begin at nine, uh, just a few minutes from now. We're expecting that to be underway, Brenda. All right, Timothy Oteno, um, as you're bringing for us the live updates uh, from the Milimani Law Courts that houses the anti-corruption court, of course, those are live pictures for you from the Milimani Law Courts. And uh, we've already seen the former Sports Cabinet Secretary, Hassan Wario, to, uh, together, um, accompanied also by some members of, pile of, of the Senate, that is um, Isiolo uh, County Senator, that is Fatima Dulo, seated next to him. He's already in court and uh, is set to appear before uh, the Chief Magistrate Douglas uh, Ongoti, who is uh, presiding over that case. So any time from now, the case is expected to begin. Initially, the case was expected to begin at exactly 8.30. It is past 8.30. It is 9.00. Uh, 12 a.m. So any time from now, the case is expected to begin. And of course, as and when that uh, case begins, we shall be crossing over uh, live to the Milimani Law Courts and hear what's happening. But first, uh, let's listen in to what's happening at the Milimani Law Courts. <laughs> No, I'm the baby I need to have this. No, I'm the baby I need to have this.